Today marks a sad anniversary that one local family never wanted. Ten years ago, their loved one was shot and killed while driving a van on Erie's west side. Erie News Now, Jamison Hicksonbaugh joining us live from 19th and Myrtle with the very latest on the investigation tonight, James. Good evening. It was right here off of the street corner where the violent incident took place 10 years ago to the day. And as you can see, a makeshift memorial is still here honoring the life of Nelson Irizarry Reyes. And you'll notice that there's a group of people here right now at this hour as I speak. That's actually his family members, including his 21-year-old son, who was 11 at the time of his death. And a decade later, his family still seeks justice. Why? Why? For the past 10 years, Victor Irizarry has been waiting for police to catch his brother's killer. I just hope that, you know, being 10 years that something gets done. On April 14th of 2012, Victor's 42-year-old brother, Nelson Irizarry Reyes, was shot and killed while driving his van along 19th in Myrtle. Police say the suspect inside of the vehicle shot him three times in the head and ran from the scene. Been a long time. Uh, also a one-year anniversary of my mom's burial, which it was... A year ago, she passed away. I wanted my mom to have some closure before, you know, she passed. It hasn't happened. Victor says his brother's death has had a major impact on his entire family. It's been pretty, uh, pretty rough. I mean, I would like our family to be closer, but it's not. And a lot of it has to do with that. According to police, the investigation is still ongoing. A decade later, Victor is still waiting for answers. There's plenty of evidence and fingerprints I'm aware of that uh, even if it's not a conviction you know expose the person sometimes that's just enough Victor believes two men were involved their brothers I know who they are I've seen them a couple times either the justice will take care of it here or sometime when uh, they get to heaven somebody's got to pay for it Deputy Chief Rick Laura tells Erie News now that this is still a very active investigation with work still being done on the case. Meanwhile, Victor tells us that he hopes the DA's office will take a closer look at this case. Live from 19th Street, Jamison Hicksonbaugh, Erie News Now.